Hello everyone, and uh, yeah, I know it's been a while since I uploaded regularly onto the channel, and I just wanted to uh, sort of get an update video out there. Now, um, you know, uh, I've been working on many, many projects in the background, um, not really Total War related or channel related, uh, mostly real life things. Uh, not that this isn't real life, uh, but um, you know, it's just been a whirlwind, especially the past uh, couple of years. But I'm looking to get back into th into the swing of things, especially now that, um, of course, there's going to be a new Total War game in October, and it's kind of the time period I've always been wishing for. So, um, the uh, ancient Middle East, or the ancient Near East. So, I mean, of course, I am... Gudea of Lagash. So, uh, of course, I was looking forward to that. But in any case, I, I hope a lot of you are looking forward to it too. Now, I know there's been uh, drama related to that uh, due to pricing, due to uh, perhaps other aspects of the game. I haven't, unfortunately, been keeping too much tabs on that. But rest assured, due to the, due to the setting and due to... Um, the the time period and the historical milieu and you know how important i find it that someone is covering that time period uh in a total war game uh, or in a vid any video game for that matter uh i'm going to be covering uh total war pharaoh as much as i can despite my uh, busy schedule now of course here i'm actually uh playing at the same time as i'm talking this is uh, Chivalry Remastered for uh, Total War Rome Remastered, of course, um, along with the help of several people, I ported this a uh, few years ago now, and um, I just released a patch. So uh, many team members have been working in the background. Uh, I pushed in a few fixes as well, and uh, the, the mod is um, much more stable. I pushed some fixes to the um, late era as well as the um, high era. The high era had a couple different uh, crashes, actually. So this was a pretty big uh, fix here. But I hope uh, you all were looking forward to it because it, it was a long time coming. There are a ton of new banners by uh, Ezek Lupo, a ton of work on the big map as well by uh, a Trump and uh, courtesy so yeah in any case that is something you can look forward to there's another thing I want to talk about in this video and that is the fact that um, Total War Rome Remastered has had quite an active mod scene recently so we've got we've gotten several uh, updates for uh, Im Imperium, uh, Serectum, Chivalry just had a patch, but other than patches for existing mods, we also have um, more ports, and that's uh, what I've been waiting for. So we've got uh, ports for uh, Barbarian Empires from the original Rome to War, and it's not just a port, like Land Jane went all out in terms of uh, you know, updating this mod for remastered and kind of pushing the limits. And uh, I have not tested it out yet, but I I will be taking a look at it. And also Arthurian Total War has been ported, and uh, Norman Invasion has also been ported, and perhaps a couple other mods. Uh, there, there have also been other mods released that I've wanted to check out, like uh, there was a patch released for... Invasio Barbarara Marina Rome. Uh, actually, you know, full disclosure, I worked on ports for Rome Remastered in the background um, for Ruina Rome, for um, End of Days 2. I just didn't finish them. And 77 BC as well, Follow the Republic Rise of the Empire, one of my favorite mods. That never gets talked about. Yeah, 77 BC. I also got very close on a port to that. I just can't figure out the scripts issue. So 
I'm going to kind of, again, put out a sort of feeler to see if there will be anyone willing uh, to finish those ports because um, I put a lot of work into those and I just, I just don't have the time to finish. But, you know, I do hope that uh, someone can kind of take the reins in terms of those things. So we're playing as the Kingdom of Naples here in the late era. Um, let me tell you, with the modern Total War games, you don't get something like this. Uh, Rome Remastered for me is still a Total War game that I think I'm going to be coming back to more than others due to the fact that, you know, there are so many campaigns with so many different settings. And now we've got Arthurian, we've got Norman Invasion, we've got Barbarian Empires, we've got the big map sub-mod for Chivalry. Um, the era campaigns, including the Crusades one, are looking pretty nice. They're shaping up pretty well. So I, I really hope you guys um, check them out. It's, uh, we've been working pretty hard. Uh, and, you know, I've been just so busy that I haven't really done as much as I wanted to, but I hope you can uh, forgive me for that. In any case, uh, Dirachium's rebelling, and uh, yeah, I should have uh, thought of that earlier, but any case, in any case, I will have some more videos about mod updates, including uh, this one here for the chivalry patch. Um, soon, I'm going to have an update for Barbarian Empires, um, Aristea Remastered. I actually had a recorded video of that, but it, it wasn't up to snuff, so I didn't release it. And also, uh, what else? What else? Um, yeah, Norman Invasion. I'm going to be looking into all those, and I hope you enjoy the content that comes out of that. So in any case... Uh, please like if you enjoy videos about the historical Total Wars. Please subscribe if you enjoy those as well. And, uh, yeah, I will be making more content about mods for the original Rome Total War, Remastered, Medieval 2, uh, Empire Napoleon, Shogun 2, all the way up to Total War Pharaoh. All the historical Total Wars which for me are the important ones. That's what I cover on this channel. So I hope you enjoyed this video. It also allowed me to see that the Kingdom of Naples uh, captain did not have the proper uh, general's model, which was this one, which was by uh, Hellspawn. So uh, anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. I'll see you all in the next one later.